This video is sponsored by Adobe. More on that later. Breaking story today, people are cooking food directly on their countertops. Why are they doing this? For more on that, uh, counter correspondent Jarvis Johnson. Jarvis? Thanks Jarvis. Um, views is why? Back to you. Huh, fascinating stuff. Anyway, that's, that's the news. Hey everybody, I'm Jarvis and um, today there's a video. Last week I made a video talking about TikTok food hacks and why they're so quirky and weird. And during that video, I discovered a particularly horrific hack called the ultimate nacho hack and it didn't show up in my main video just because it was like too long but i did talk about it at length on my second channel and that's where our story starts today and we're just gonna completely get it all on the counter get your hands in here and just blend them in just like that and then she makes them into a ball with an ice cream scooper and eats them in a cone Cool. And the whole time, the guy behind the camera has no questions at all for her. He's just along for the ride. Oh, he does have one question. You're gonna take your ice cream scooper? What are you gonna do with an ice cream scooper? This video left me with a lot of questions, like why did you do this being the main one, two being why did you do this on a counter? <laughs> Most of my questions are about the counter. And today's story begins with yet another cooking hack video that also takes place on a kitchen counter. Come one, come all, feast your eyes on the ultimate spaghetti trick. This is a very similar formula to the ultimate nacho hack. Um, so I'm sensing a theme in more ways than one. <gasps> oh my gosh. <sighs> oh my gosh. Sorry to keep interrupting the incredible video, but one thing that I'm very obsessed with when it comes to these is the person who's talking behind the camera because they have found the world's worst hype person <laughs> to like hype them up while they do this very strange, I don't want to call it cooking, this very strange act. All my friends are coming over. This, this is, is the easiest way. Is it? <laughs> Sorry. This is the easiest way. Is it? <laughs> she, she's not very, so far she's a little incredulous and I'm on her side uh, because you should be asking, is it the best way to make spaghetti for friends? Because it's almost definitely not the best way. It's all just right in front of you. You don't have to worry about dishes or a mess or anything like that. Yeah, no, you don't have to worry about a mess or anything. Not at all. Everyone's going to come over. They're going to just like lick it up right off the counter. And then it's all, it's all clean at the end. There's no mess. What mess? But it's all over your counter. And then the next step is... <laughs> doesn't address the question. She's like, but it's all over your counter. And she's like, I, sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of, of ragu slapping my kitchen counter. You need a meat the bowl, a meat the bowl, is it? Okay. <laughs> this just feels like a bad improv scene. She comes in with the meat, the, the bad Italian, you know, like the SNL sketch that everybody watched this week and her friend who was just a second ago asking questions like is it the best way and but it's all over your counter it's <laughs> suddenly like oh yes and the meat of all <laughs> oh my gosh oh my right in line gosh oh my gosh now the hype woman the behind the camera person is falling into the usual trope of just going wow oh my god I can't believe what you're doing right now. And you've done this before. Oh, yeah. We do this all the time. This is like, holy smokes. This is so way. cool. These videos follow a formula. They're always something that the person in the video has supposedly done a million times before, but we know that they haven't uh, because they're going to stain that white marble countertop. I don't see any ragu stains on it so far, so... They must be, the only logical explanation is that they're replacing their countertop every time they cook. That way there's no mess. It, it all makes sense. There's no mess because you throw out the whole countertop. So cheese. that's Parmesan cheese? Yep. I'm just going to say it right now. I am enjoying myself. I'm not providing useful commentary whatsoever. So that's Parmesan cheese? Yeah. Yeah, girl. <laughs> I can read it. And I'm looking at it through a computer. <laughs> you were there. It says Parmesan cheese in pretty clear font. You just go in a straight line. Yeah. 
Yeah. Everyone loves good cheesy oh my spaghetti. Gosh, so you want to make course. sure that you're getting enough in there. Right. Wow. So many unmotivated wows. <laughs> like, uh, wow, this is incredible. Or maybe, wow, you're really cooking on your counter right now. And then you take your noodles. Oh my gosh. And you just dump it. You know, for a second I thought maybe they're cooking on the counter because they don't have any utensils or bowls or anything like that. But you have spaghetti right here in a pot. You could have just put the ingredients in the pot and she knows this. I don't think this is gonna be enough noodles. Definitely not. That's the only problem actually is that there's not enough noodles. So hopefully I, if you could add some more noodles, this would be perfect. Because you don't want your guests to go hungry. I would never want my guests to go hungry. Okay, so we pile them on up there. Wow. Just like that. Wow. Why does she keep saying, there's nothing, there's nothing interesting happening. It's like steaming. Yeah, oh my gosh, hot. that's so cool. You have cooked a noodle before, right? Like <laughs> this is, or are you like familiar in general with cooking? Cause steam, steam coming from a, from a boiled noodle shouldn't be too much of a surprise. What do we do? You gotta mix it up, girl. Okay, let's mix it up. I wanna go back to when she was asking questions. <laughs> when she was asking the hard, the hardball questions about, <laughs> about why we were doing this. Cause I'm not in the mood to mix it up, girl, is what I'm saying. How delicious is this look? It looks so good. <laughs> and it's not working. Whatever you're doing is, is bad. <laughs> this is amazing. Where did you see this? Like, oh. is this a family tradition? Um, well, I'm Italian. Yeah. And real Italians, this is how you make sweet. Oh, I didn't know that. You just said that to upset people, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure you just said that to make people mad. Oh, I didn't know that. Yep. I didn't know you were Italian. <laughs> we also haven't met. <laughs> Who are you? Why am I here? I was just going to my apartment and you said, hey, can you come in here and film? Can you come in here and film this? And I was like, well, I've got nothing better to do tonight. And she said, I'm making pasta and I do love a good pasta. So then I just walked into her room and <laughs> then she locked the door behind me. And now I can't stop filming or else, uh, or else is what, is what she told me. Add a little salad at the end. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. Like that. You see that? Yeah. Heck yeah, I do. Heck yeah, I do. <laughs> Golly gee, I sure do see the salad there. This is really like a, a full, she's been, <laughs> she's been fully radicalized like over the course of this, this two and a half minutes. Italian. Oh my gosh. Duh. What do we do with that? Hold on, lady. Sorry. I feel like I make the same observation for every single one of these because they always ask the same questions. What are you going to do with that ice cream scoop? I don't know, man. Probably scoop up the fucking food that's in front of the scoop is what I'm going to do. What are you going to do with the garlic bread that's clearly untoasted and just like there? <laughs> they couldn't be bothered to prepare that whatsoever. I'm going to put it on the table and pretend like it's done. This is like... Everything you need. This is everything you need. This wouldn't impress anyone who is coming over. Yeah, this is a lie. It's a lie. No one's coming over. You're going to throw this away after you're done. I'd be willing to bet. Yes, I would. This is a definition of family style. Come on over, everybody. Get on your knees and eat my sketty. <laughs> so we've just witnessed a crime and I sure do hope the culprits are brought to justice, but uh, they have Josh and Lisa here have made a number of videos on their counter and remarkably Josh and Lisa are not the people who made the ultimate nacho hack on their counter. Two different counters, two different couples, two different atrocities. <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo. It's the countertop cop. Please stop it at once. All right, second verse, same as the first. This one says, your kids will love this. And it's got exactly the same as em emoji as before. I soundly doubt that my kids will love this as they don't exist. But I also don't know if anyone's kids or relatives or friends or just other humans will love this either because I don't think this is real. I think this is just for views. Here we go. And you get your hot dogs. 
spread them in a line. I don't know why they pretend that there's like a recipe of any kind here. Like spreading them in a line, we know you're just gonna mix it all up. Like why does it even matter? Like what is this all, what is this charade? And then let me guess, the girl behind the camera is gonna say wow a bunch of times. And then she's just gonna like yes and whatever weird ingredient you bring to the table or whatever weird shit you start doing. Oh, okay, so you got the pasta. Oh, okay, so you're mi mixing it up with your hands. Oh, okay, so I'm being arrested. Oh, okay, so <laughs> I'm being tried for my crimes. <laughs> wow. Oh, amazing. Wow. Oh, amazing. And then you wanna get your butter. Yeah. You're just gonna line them up okay. just like this. Two sticks, you need two sticks. Two sticks, you need two sticks. I swear to God, if you use a single stick of butter, this recipe will fail. So, so count your sticks, everybody. This is amazing, all my friends are coming over. Why do they keep letting you cook for them? <laughs> like, why, I don't understand. So it feeds a lot of people. It feeds a ton of people. We're making oh my word. big old buckets of mac and cheese. Get you a friend who every time you show them uh, a pot of cooked pasta, they lose their mind. <laughs> oh my word, is that cooked macaroni? It's really important seasoning, guys. Seasoning is important if you want the pepper. pepper. It's funny because she didn't season the last recipe at all. She just poured, <laughs> she just poured a bottle, two bottles of ragu on the counter, and was like, "It'll get seasoned by the Lysol <laughs> that's on the that's on the counter." So, so that's all we got. It's a or it's a lemon. It's gonna have like a little bit of a lemon taste from the from the chemicals ready just like that you want to make sure everything is covered okay it doesn't look good you can stop gaslighting us lisa I mean, you can use utensils but this is like, easier this is... and it's more fun get your hands dirty you're cooking you're in the kitchen okay why not it like won't come off her hand she like is trying multiple times your kids would love this okay so that's where the title came from just because her friend was like oh this is a good activity for the kids I would prefer if, if it weren't an activity for anyone, actually. Can I see that? Can you give me a handful so I can see? Yeah. How's it look? <gasps> you guys, this mac and cheese is going to be so amazing. Yum. There's nothing special about this recipe. You're talking about the butter's going to melt. There's still just like full on <laughs> chunks of butter everywhere. And then the best part is everyone gets their own little portion. So you pull up chairs. Oh, so she got chairs, which is an improvement over the last video. Right to the edge of the counter. Okay. Wow. Wow. So good. It's so good. Oh, how convenient that you cut out the clip of you eating the food. And last but not least, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm allergic to uh, kitchen counters. <laughs> hey, the news? Oh, nothing. Except a brand new update to Adobe Premiere Pro. A lot of people ask me what I use to edit my videos, and the answer may surprise you. Unless, of course, you guessed Adobe Premiere Pro, in which case, yeah. I've been using Premiere since I started this channel, and that's why it's an absolute pleasure to partner with Adobe for this video. The new update to Premiere allows for motion graphics templates to now include media replacement, making media easily interchangeable without ever leaving the app. I don't say this every day, but... This is neat. Adobe hooked me up with motion graphics expert, Evan Abrams, to design the news graphics for this video, as well as these cool ways to display media, all of which are available as Premiere Motion Graphics templates on Adobe Stock, which you can get for free by going to adobe.ly slash Jarvis. That's my name. Thanks again to Adobe for sponsoring this video. Last but not least, uh, we have an ultimate party trick from <laughs> the, the counter queen herself, Lisa, Josh, and Lisa. This should be called Lisa and Josh. Josh is really, he's AWOL. He, he, he skipped town years ago. This is the ultimate party trick. Not to be shown up by Taylor Watson, the countertop nacho lady. Lisa wants to show that she, she can also play that game. Who can play at that game, Taylor? All right, so, so check this out. So, do you know that like, Charcuterie boards are kind of going out of style. What kind of boards? Charcuterie boards are kind of going out of style. Right. They're not fat, fancy anymore. No, and when your friends come over... <laughs> Now it's now it's funny to me. Now it's funny to me. Also, what kind of premises charcuterie boards are going out of style? <laughs> like... <laughs> what? You want to still give them something that's super visual and fun. And fun. So the premise is that charcuterie boards are out of style, but what is in style is countertop nachos. As if 
these friends when they come over are like, ugh, Lisa with the charcuterie boards. You're so 2019. Make it on your counter, Lisa. Come on, give it the times. I honestly don't love spice though, so is this gonna... No, this is medium. This is totally this is fine. medium. Okay, cool. Now that we know that it's not spicy, I'm along for the ride. Like, <laughs> fuck me up, Lisa. I wish you could smell how good this is. I'm actually glad I can't. So, so that's actually pretty good for me. Gotta have black beans in your dip. Wow. You've gotta have them. They bring extra protein, so it makes it really healthy. This is really pretty looking. I know, it's gorgeous, right? No. This is a lie. You're saying things that aren't true, <laughs> Lisa. This is, this isn't pretty. This isn't particularly healthy. Black beans are involved, <laughs> but like, I mean, I don't know. Wow, so this is like really impressive to people at like, home. Yeah, your friends are gonna come over and they're gonna be like, I need, I need to eat this. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great that was a great impression of the friends that come over. You know when you go over to your friend's countertop and they've just got food there with no no sort of rhyme or reason. I go, "Hey, Lisa. I got to eat that." This is for your spicy friends. This is for my spicy friends. Yeah, and there's some carrots in here, but that's fine. You're going to mix it all up. Wait, what? <laughs> she was just like, "Let's use the medium queso so that my friends who don't like spice won't be offended." And then she's adding jalapenos and she's going to mix it all up. So like, what was the purpose of all that? That was all just a, like, they don't just say anything in these videos. And guess wow. what the last ingredient is? Okay, wait, let's guess. What is the last ingredient? So we do need chips. We need something to dip this into. Guac, I can see as an option. I really don't know where this goes. What is a chip dip without? 100%. Oh, sour, I'm such a dummy. I'm such a dummy. I would, yeah, that is easier. Oh, why did you throw it down? That is easier. That is easier. Sorry, I know it's a joke. I know this is like, this is fake on purpose. And it's still offensive to me. You want a big tub, because this is what brings the creaminess to the dip. Oh, okay, so the cream brings the creaminess. That's pretty good to know. The jalapenos are what bring the like jalapeno to the recipe. And then like the black beans bring like the black beans. The queso brings the cheese to the recipe. And then the sour cream brings the creaminess. So it's really just everything's working together. This is really colorful. This is more colorful than a charcuterie board. It's super colorful. Like, look how beautiful it is. It's so pretty. I feel like this has just as many colors as like a charcuterie board could have. And also the color, how, why are we arguing the colorfulness? Like, well, what is it even, there's no, like, what does that even matter? You could open up a, bo a box of tricks cereal and go, wow, this is more colorful than a charcuterie board. <laughs> like, what are we, that doesn't accomplish anything. Though that does sound better than this. Tricks are for kids. So that's a hack that your, your kids will enjoy. No way. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, how good does this look? You have to mix it. That's where the flavors are coming in. And then you can see, you want the sour cream to be dispersed everywhere. She's like explaining the merits of like mixing things together. It's like, you want some of the ingredients from over there to be over here. And her friend's like, wait, how, how are you doing this sorcery? And then, so interesting. What we're doing. Uh, so you may be asking, other than why, why are you showing me this, Jarvis? You promised you would never do this to me again. Um, I'm unsubscribing from the channel. Other, other, you, other, those are the things that you're probably thinking. But one of the other questions that you might be thinking is like, what do these two kitchen geniuses have in common? Well, strangely, what they have in common is the Facebook magician Rick Lax. I know, it's pretty weird. For those of you who are not familiar with Rick Lax, he is a magic, he's a magic man, <laughs> and he posts videos on Facebook where he like does math tricks, which is not magic, but like go off. And also just random viral content. Drew Gooden has done a couple of great videos chronicling Rick Lax, and I have stumbled into what seems to be Rick Lax's new venture because he is somehow responsible for all of the content that we've seen thus far. I noticed that the Rick Lax page posted the ultimate spaghetti trick not long after it was posted originally and didn't like give any attribution to the original creator, which I thought was like, a little bit strange, but it happens on the internet all the time. But then I noticed that Rick Lax also posted two years ago, 
the ultimate nacho hack. So right now we should be playing some conspiracy music. And I didn't even know that the nacho hack was that old because it just went viral as far as I know this year, somewhat recently because these two Facebook pages, Adley and Taylor Watson, both posted once again around the same time. So if you think all of this is a coincidence, I don't think it is. So, <laughs> and I'll explain why. So I went to Taylor Watson's Facebook page and I saw a lot of people in the related pages who had a logo for Rick Lax Productions, just like lazily pasted on top of like what would otherwise be a normal <laughs> profile photo. And this led me to the question, what on earth is Rick Lax Productions? I wonder if that's some, what you're thinking too, because uh, I found out. So Rick Lax Productions is apparently Rick Lax's like little production outlet. And he actually runs a number of different shows. Here's like a little, little family photo. That's cute. One of which is the Adley show. So one of the pages that posted that Nacho Hack is a Rick Lax production. And the other one is too. And uh, there's also a list of all of his shows, of which I've not really heard of any of them, except for... Ray William Johnson is here for some reason. As far as I know, most of the gross out food videos are somehow related to Rick Lax. And I don't know how that makes you feel, but it makes me feel weird. Why are we doing this? And most of the videos go viral without the context that they're parody or that they're for entertainment purposes only. You'll notice on a lot of the Rick Lax production pages, people have this like ridiculous disclaimer. Like in this video from Tommy Wind, which is a Rick Lax production, this one says, you'll never eat pasta the same way again. Notice of transparency. All the events take place in this short film are purely fictitious. Any similarities to actual people or actual events or coincidences. This video is only purposes for entertainment. Thanks so much for watching this video. I do hope you enjoy it. Please note that this page Features scripted dramas, parody act, parody, and satire. Most of the post is disclaimer, but it's never, you know, it's never shared with that context. It's only shared, you know, as just a video. I even tested this out myself and just posted one of these videos without the like parody context. And uh, everyone lost their mind, to be frank. Everyone is mad. Everyone is mad. If you just like go to my Twitter and you just look at the replies, it is just, I don't even want to go too deep into these replies, but it's pretty telling that I just posted this and it has 4,000 likes and one and a half thousand retweets and 500 comments. I never see that kind of like retweet and comment ratio. And all of the comments are upset and all of the retweets are upset. No one is enjoying this, but that's like exactly the reason that it exists because it's, it's for, it's outrage clicks. It's incredible what these videos make people do. Hey, hey everybody. It's Future Jarvis here with a little update from the future. So I originally filmed this video on May 10th and I had actually prepared the research for it before that. And a few things have happened since I filmed this video. So I'm going to tell you about them right now. When I posted this spaghetti hack on Twitter, I was trying to illustrate how when you post these things without any context on Twitter, they can go viral. Um, so I posted this without context and it went viral on Twitter. But it went, it like went crazier than anticipated. This video got over 9 million views, like 60,000 likes, like 45,000 or 50,000 retweets, all of which were people who were very mad at me or very mad at the people in the video for the crimes that they were committing. But it didn't stop there, oh no, no. It then became a nationwide trending topic in the United States. Specifically, Prego was trending, maybe not the best day for their PR team, I have to imagine. My apologies, by the way. And also a bunch of celebrities chimed in, like Garfield or Pat Oswalt, a comedian who is also the voice of the rat Remy in Ratatouille. I thought that was pretty funny. As a side note, I love you, Patton. Hello. And then I went to sleep. And when I woke up, my friend had tweeted me this article on Eater that was exactly the story that I'm telling you right now. So I got scooped, I got scooped. Oh man, I thought I, I, thought I had the scoop, but I was wrong, especially because it takes me a, 
a while to make a video. <laughs> but this article from Eater is really great and includes a lot of statements from Rick Lax himself. It also features some of our favorite characters like Getty Spaghetti makes an appearance. Getty Spaghetti. There's a great quote in here where Rick Lax says that while he's not a foodie or an expert, he objects to calling the recipes gross, which is wrong. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty unpopular opinion to have, especially considering, I don't know, have you ever read the comments on any of these videos? My other favorite quote in this article is when Getty, uh, speaking about her recipes, says, and I quote, it's nothing that people should do. I mean, she's got a point. This is why, this is why Getty still has my heart. Another relevant part of this article is that Lax is extremely adamant that the videos going viral outside Facebook are not his videos, they're stolen. He's especially angry at Ellen DeGeneres for posting other creators' reaction videos to his own videos without linking back to his page. This is funny because the day after this article was posted, I received a DMCA takedown notice for the video that I posted, even though I did link, link back to the original content, which is fine. I mean, go off, go off, King. If anything, I expected it to happen sooner. Uh, you know, like before Garfield got a chance to respond. <laughs> no, but seriously, people are so mad. Everyone's so upset. I, I can't even share half of the replies to that tweet. They're still there on my Twitter at Jarvis always be plugging if you wanna if you wanna read it. I figured I'd I'd leave up the DMCA as a um a historical artifact. I really do recommend reading this article. It's full of fun little nuggets. Like Rick Lax maintains that most of his recipes being created within the network are legitimately meant to be practical. He repeatedly objected to descriptors like gross or awful. We're creating good videos, he said, before clarifying, when I say good videos, I mean videos that perform well on social media. <laughs> I also wanted to say that I don't wish any ill will to the people who are doing these productions. Um, I mean, I think it's a waste of food. I do think it's a waste of food, so like stop doing that. But I'm mostly just talking about like, this is a weird internet moment that we're all captivated by. And that's been the future update. All right, back to the past. Okay, everybody, that's all Detective Jarvis has today for um, uncovering the internet's biggest mysteries that <laughs> are better kept actually um, as mysteries. I hope you enjoyed this. I didn't try any of these hacks today because I don't have a nice enough kitchen, but I hope that like you could use your imagination as to what it would be like if I tried them, which is that I would make delicious food, all my friends would come over, real Italians would be there, kids would be there, charcuterie boards would be nowhere to be found. Um, it would be a great time. So thanks again for joining me on our journey of people do weird stuff for views. It's, that's, that's the name of the series. Thanks to Paul Kia Official for hanging out with my Twitch chat on my birthday. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. If you want me to butcher your name, did you know that I hung out on Twitch for my birthday? I'm, I'm a Twitch now. I do a Twitch. Come on over to twitch.tv slash Jarvis Johnson and say hi. Okay, bye-bye.